I didn't know it was going on till after eight. Where's the present? I thought you were taking them. They were in your No, room. it's because we went to take the oh, picture. No. Oh, you left them on the chair. I left them outside the house. I'm reversing. I'm oh, reversing. Mia's <laughs> left the presents on an outside chair and look at the sky. It looks like oh, it's no. about to heavily rain. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Good job, we've just found out we're not too far from the house, luckily. But yeah, oh my goodness, Mia. So glad you remembered. Yeah. Wait, who remembered? Me. Oh, yeah, because yeah. he just frantically said, Where's the present? Yeah. <laughs> Where's the present? You two shouldn't rely on each other, should you? Yeah. No. Here we go, guys. Okay, I'm pretty sure I left it literally just. Yep, yep, I see it. I just left it on the chair. I was sitting there, and then mum was like, Let's take a picture in the neon outfits. The worst part is the party started like five minutes ago. Have you got all three? So we're them? stylishly late, aren't you we, guys? Stylishly late. You haven't wrapped it, Mia, though. Oh, I gift, put it in a gift bag. I've got gift bags in the house. I've got literally oh. loads. Should I go and get a gift bag? And yeah. the price stickers are still on Mia! There. What? <laughs> Who oh. gives people gifts with the price still stuff on it? Come right. on. I'm going to go um, and get a gift oops. bag. Right. Okay, cool. See you in a minute. Let See me ya. Let the prices off. Ah, yes. perfect. No. Thank you. I'm sorry, you, you sort it out. I peeled the price stickers off. Um, Sienna did yeah. make a homemade card. Oh, yeah, yeah, I did. It really I smells like someone's napkin is changing. Okay. I know. Yeah. I've been yeah. smelling for so long. I know. I asked Karma. She said, Karma, have you done a poo? Have you done a poo, Karma? Shut up, please. Oh, God, get back to the again. No, no, we're going to be late. Yeah, we have to do it first. <laughs> yeah. It's just gonna take two minutes. Thanks, Carver. Two minutes. Thank that is my fault for leaving the present. Well, it's kind of my fault um, actually, because when I was strapping her in her car seat, I did smell it and I did say, Carver, have you done a poo? She went, No. I went, Look how cute that is. I said, Seriously, I really need to know if you've done a poo. That's no. Cute. Promise? No, I haven't. Okay. So I trusted you, didn't I? Carver, go get your nappy change, please. Come on, Imagine if she hasn't actually. Yeah. That, that would be so funny. Right, so nappies changed. Me and Sienna are both in the car. Retrieved. Yeah, got the present and they're in a decent like, And it's just bag. started raining, look at this. In terms Perfect. of getting the present, because, right, yeah. they were underneath that porch, but when it rains really heavy, yeah. you've seen the floods anyway. Yeah. Rain. It's meant to be a pool party as well, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, I know. No, that's nice. Like, I love going in the pool when it's raining. Yeah, I mean, you're going to get wet out. anyway. Are you awake, Gilbert? Do you want a little nap now? Yeah. Oh, does he want to go to the party? Do you want to go to the party, Kira? Oh, oh, oh no. he doesn't want to. He doesn't. <laughs> I want to go to the party. Do you, Karma? Oh, I think it's only for big girls, though, isn't it? Yeah, I think the youngest yeah. people are going to be like nine. Probably. Yes. You better be good, girls. Yeah, I will. I'm trusting you both. Oh. Bye. Bye. Oh, they can't hear me, they're just laughing. No. It has just started to rain and they're running off laughing, which is good, isn't it? I know Mia says one person or there's going to be some people there who are going to be nine, but I think the majority of people there are going to be like 13. So it's actually quite a big kids party for Sienna, isn't it? Right, yeah, yeah. But um, what happened was this morning, Mia was meant to be going on her own and then she suddenly said, oh, um, Sienna can come if she likes. So um, me and Darren thought, because Sienna is like, really really excited to go and really wanted to so we thought we'd let her. She does hang around with a mixed age range of children but we do prefer when she hangs around with pre-teens don't we? We prefer yeah. that because when um, some of the other... So she doesn't grow up too fast. Yeah That's we all. don't want her to grow up too fast. Influence is what make her grow yeah, up Yeah and the fast. conversations are different between 13 year old girls it's gonna be a lot different to nine and ten year old girls so I do prefer her hanging around with girls her own age but it is nice now and then for children to mix because Actually, in Montessori schools, they actually have mixed ages in their classes because it's good for um, children's development yeah. to be with a huge range of like also, kids. Also, a really good way of knowing if you've learned something is if you can actually teach it. So that's what they do, isn't it? Yeah, which is nice. Yeah. So, well, we had a beach day today, which is why my nose is super red. And we know, well, we had this idea, I don't know if it's going to get ruined by the rain, but we were going to go into town and we were going to go out and eat with the babies and yeah, we don't know how this is going to go. But no, we don't need to It's pretty adventurous. <laughs> no, we don't. We thought we'd be spontaneous. Because yeah. the girls are going to a party, it made me feel like, well, 
We could do something spontaneous. Yeah, how many years has it been since we've had like complete freedom? Quite a lot. Yeah, I know. So yeah, let's see how this goes for fam. So we were going to be eating at this place behind me because it has pizza and it's got a playground, which sounds amazing. It looks really fun in there. But every time we've been here, it's always been closed, but I just assumed it was because it was daytime. So we've now turned up, it's dinner time and it still looks completely deserted. There's like, there's like a slide there, swings. It looks super fun. And it looks pretty like modern and well kept. So I don't feel like it's like closed down or anything. Sorry, Karma, the playground place is closed. It looks fun in there, it's like a huge slide. Well, we'll go somewhere else, shall we? Okay. Yeah? I really fancy pizza, but I feel like Dad spotted a taco place instead, Karma. Okay. Do you like tacos? Yeah. Do you like tacos as much as dragons? I don't like spicy tacos, but I like burgers and some pizzas. Yeah, you don't have to have your tacos spicy, though. Oh. Remember? Okay. Yeah, we don't have to have spicy salsa in it. Okay. Come on, let's go then. Let's go and follow Daddy. What do you want? That. You want creamy quinoa del mar. I think the lady's going to bring us the vegan menu out though, so we can have a look at that oh, one. Amazing, thank there you. There you go, Karma. I think I want... There's actually a lot on here. Wow, yeah. stir fried veggies. Yeah. That? yeah. That sounds good. What does King Kara want? I tried to get Kara. Oh, I don't want to give you another like, sleep training update. But last night, let's just put it bluntly, it results in all of us having zero sleep. So we're really hungry today, aren't we? Yeah. Do you feel like your appetite's ramped up? I do, yeah. Or is this what the tacos have done to you? Go on. You're lucky that is soft. Guys, it's really funny because we had two people come out and check whether we definitely wanted to order that much food. First of all, the waiter was like, no, you've ordered too much. You like, honestly, you're gonna have to have less than that. He was explaining how it's really big portions. I was like, no, we're very hungry. We definitely want that. And then another person came out who was yeah. actually the chef, wasn't it? and said we shouldn't yeah. be ordering that much but we but, persevered and now yeah, we're covered in we, sweat but we ate it all we proved them wrong and they <laughs> did actually two people came out afterwards and said you managed to eat it yeah. they were surprised so this is here for Kola Karma okay. so you know earlier on Fizz Fam when I said about sleep training updates well this will be a little mini one for you this, our current situation right now is a little bit, I don't know, chaotic, chaotic. so Karma sleeps on this bed we I have... sleep on that bed I sleep on the car. She says she wants to sleep in there, but you can't sleep in there because that's your bed there, Karma, and we've tried her on that bed in between the two beds, and she moves around too much. She's not very comfortable. It's a, it's a weird situation because both the babies need like a full queen size bed to themselves, which is, if I'm gonna be honest, that sounds rather spoiled, doesn't it, and privileged. But I don't know how we've got this situation, but we just can't find a way where we can all sleep well. So me, Dad, we were sleeping in here with Karma, wasn't he? He was sleeping on that bed, Karma was sleeping on in here. She likes sleeping in a bedroom with one of the adults. I want to sleep on it. Yeah. And I sleep on it. So it worked out well they were both in here. We've got these special blackout blinds. I think maybe Darren's shown you in a video. No, maybe. I haven't. Should no. I show you well, let me carry on what I'm saying. Right. And um, what happens is this room gets very, very dark. So Darren and Karma sleep in here. She's sleeping through the night and waking up at a decent time. I have been in the bedroom with Koa and I've managed to get him off um, breast feeds in the night and he just has a bottle of water. So that was good and he started to sleep. We've through... managed to get him off breast feeds full stop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Last in the night. Yeah, they know about us anyway. We've yeah. really told him, don't we? But yeah. he wakes up very early. So even though he's sleeping through the night now, or well, he was in there, he was waking me up at 5 a.m., which was just too much for me and him. He's still waking up really tired. I realized it's because that room is so bright and we can't have these special blackout blinds in here. So Darren and me thought maybe me and Cara should join these guys in here because this is the only room where it's really, really dark in the mornings. And when the sun is bright, it still is really dark. And I was like, wow, if Cara comes to this room, you sleep through the night, and then he wakes up at like seven or even half six as opposed to five, maybe we'll get a better night's sleep. But for some reason now, he's waking up all throughout the night. He's not liking this room at all. And I don't want to have to go back in there with him and wake up at five a.m. So he like tries to climb off the bed in the night. So I've been trying to get him to sleep in his cot because look at this cot, it's amazing. This is the world's, careful, careful you two. The world's most luxurious cot. I even bought a nice oval one because then it mimics the room. It's not like all sharp edges and stuff, you know. Um, babies like roundness. I was like, I'm going to start using this kids' family. It's such a waste and it converts into a little kids' bed. 
but he absolutely hates it. Even though he's safe in here and I don't have to worry about him rolling off the bed and he's got his own space, he is just going nuts. But I'm, going, I'm trying to train him now to sleep in his cot. So I've got him off breast milk and I'm trying to get him to sleep in here and then plus wake up at 7, not 5am. I feel like a circadian rhythm now is used to waking up. Like his body clock is used to waking up at 5am. But being in this room is helping a little bit though, isn't it, Darren? Yeah, a little. But yeah, he, he wakes up about 6. I, basically, I'm so tired. I don't know what I've just said to you. I literally don't even know what I've just been speaking about. But basically, he's waking us up in the night. He hates his cot. He rolls off the bed. So this fam, me and Darren are here next to each other, which is nice. Co is in there hating it. Karma's on there with a huge queen size bed on herself having an amazing time. Although I think Koei is waking you up though when he wakes up. Yeah. So you are tired. Koei wakes you up a lot, doesn't he, Karma? Yeah. yeah, he. But you actually love everyone being in one room, don't you? Oh, I love it. He's she really good. likes it. Yeah, yeah. I love it. Get me a cot. Get you, well, this is a cot. Well, you've got your own kid's bed there, yeah. but you. She you roll out that. of that. We've tried to get you to sleep in that, but you always roll out and then we find you on the floor. Literally yeah. just laying on that cold floor. I know, when I got Can up I sleep to... on that bed now? Yeah. We, we so, could try it again, yeah. Our sleeping arrangements are very fluid. They change all the time. That's why one of the things when we're designing a house, we're trying to take into consideration how much our sleeping arrangements change on like a very fast basis, don't they? Well, no, we're just still trying to establish yeah. an actual routine. Yeah. That's why. I don't know, maybe some of you guys who have got young babies and that, and you know what it's like. There's so many factors. Is, is the room really bright in the mornings and they wake up really early? Because what's happened is Costa Rica, the sun rises really early. Doesn't it, Darren? I, yeah. I don't know what time. But if we're in the UK and it's winter time, he probably would sleep free till like seven, eight. So it's tricky. Even in Mexico, he was um, waking up a lot later because it didn't. The sun did rise to like six, half six, seven. When we came to Costa Rica, straight away I was losing out on like one to two hours of sleep on top of him waking up all throughout the night. So since I've been in Costa Rica, I felt so. Um, sleep deprived so we've been here like nine months now and i just really really want to sort this sleeping situation out add up the one two hours every night at the end of the week that's going to be like 14 hours of sleep you didn't get and then compound for over nine months sorry to go on about this but i really want to sort this out and i'm going to keep giving updates on my instagram for you guys yeah. but the breastfeeding weaning really worked well i'm going to try and get him used to sleeping in this perfectly beautiful safe cot which he hates so. what is it oh that they're, was for a they're video. For periods. They're for periods. They're our little supply in case we run out. I wear them. No, maybe Mommy the bought them as a joke for Sienna. Yeah. Do you remember giving Sienna bad presents? So these are the blackout blinds for his van. And I got them where I had to cut them to size. I got them off Amazon. I can't remember what brand they were called now, but they were whichever brand made the biggest ones because these are really big pieces of glass. We should put these on our Amazon store. For yeah, yeah. Ones. So I had to get um, these ones. We basically cut them to size and then you stick the Velcro on the window frame and then the Velcro on these. And it does actually stop all light coming through, um, obviously apart from if there's any like leakage at the sides. But the way it's worked out pretty well is because there's already a blackout roller blind here, these work in conjunction with that and then stop like 99% of light. It's very dark, it's really dark. Yeah, because when I started sleeping in here, I couldn't believe how dark it was and how much light I was getting in the other room. Like, basically, your body needs it to be as dark and as black as it can be when you sleep. Then you so, like you secrete all the right hormones and you have a better quality sleep. And as soon as I started coming into this room, I was like, whoa. Like, I when I laid there down, this is so weird. I felt like light was coming in my eyes. So, I was, look, this is I'm the... So sorry to, to cut it. you off, George, oh. while I'm not doing okay. it. You can carry on. These blackout blinds and then another wow. blackout blind yeah. but obviously this one had all the gaps around the edges because you need it made in the window frame really but let me turn the light off and i'll show you how dark it is right ready one light two lights wow so there's just a red yeah. light coming off the camera and off the camera screen now kind of scared so the camera scared. screen's making the only light in here good word. did you get yeah. scared then it goes very oh, dark, doesn't it? But it's dark. really good for our sleep, isn't it? Yeah, we need to. We need our sleep cover, okay? You're not that happy. So hot in here. <laughs> Have you seen that little face? Have you seen her doing that? Oh. When she tries to put a serious face and then laughs. <laughs>, <laughs> little cheeky angel. <laughs> Whoa, there's loads of cows in the road. Good night, cows. <laughs> 
Okay, Fizz fam, so I'm now going to be going and picking up Mia and Sienna. Babies are asleep at home. George is just making some thumbnails for the video, so let's go see how the girls got on. Hey! Hi. Sorry, I didn't know it was going on till after eight, because I've been waiting. I waited down the bottom of the drive, but then it got to quarter past, and then I thought, am I supposed to drive up the drive? Uh, I dropped yeah. you off at the bottom of the drive, but because you weren't there, it's um, I was getting deja vu. I was like, sorry. it's quarter past again. <laughs> they haven't come. Um, the parents said that they'll be able to see the car when they come, ah, when, you, when you arrive. So right. that's why we didn't come out. The drive was so narrow, I didn't even know that I could get this car up there. Oh. <laughs> so I just waited where I dropped you off. But yeah, anyway. Sorry. You, so the party's still going on? Yeah, I think so. I mean, the girl told me it would be three till eight, but I think people are still there. There's I'm not sure also, some I think there's sleeping a sleepover. Over. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. So that's why, yeah. Did you want me to come later then, or what? No, it's fine. Besides, yeah. we, haven't we got stuff to do tomorrow? Um, I've got no idea. You'll have to ask Yeah, me. Mum said we've got stuff to do tomorrow. All right, so. all right then. All right, yeah. cool. How did it go? Good. Amazing. It's fun. fun, yeah. Yeah? yeah. Close the door because the baby is going to wake up. Please don't wake up. Okay, okay, okay. How did it go? Did we get time? Yeah. 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 What did you see? So, so, first of all, we went in the pool and the, they had like this big like thing. Like, it was like a jumping thing. And it's like a waterfall though. It was like a waterfall the pool. thing. But then they put, they always. Well, is it normally in the pool? No. No, it's was it just it's, in the park. So, no. They have a pool with it's, waterfall. But the waterfall is like a big block. So you can yeah. stand on top of the block and then oh, jump into wow. it. Oh wow! Yeah, so we were yeah. jumping in and then I would flip in. Yeah. And then we were like dancing because there was loads of music. They were playing um, like Just Dance videos on YouTube. Yeah. They were copying them. Yeah. I practiced my dancing skills. That's good to know. Yeah. <laughs> to oh, to I need to do that. Good for TikToks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and then we were like chilling in. Um, the girls' bedroom. Were there other children there or girls? Um, there were other girls. Loads of people there. Um, there was not loads, there was about 15 Yeah, people. that's a lot, um, yeah. But there was like another girl that I know, and then there was also, um, two, um... um mosquitoes, sorry. Um, two nine-year-old <laughs> boys there as well. Yeah, yeah. there's some boys yeah. there, that's yeah. cool. So there's some Did me and behave yourself? Well. Yeah. Like, did you, yeah, did you, of course yeah. I did. Yeah. I'm only joking, I wasn't <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so I had a really good time. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Did she? They like, did stop playing on Caroline. Oh. And like, even I, like, I've watched that movie loads when yeah. I was younger, but I wouldn't want to watch it now. Like, I just don't like watching so what scary you... movies, even if it's like a kids' movie, you know? Yeah, I can so remember that. We so. kind of went off and we were like with one another and stuff, so. It, like, oh, okay. Just, then. Like, that's fine. Yeah, because some, like, like, some other people didn't want to, to watch, watch the movie. film just, either. Yeah. Or like there wasn't yeah. enough space in the Did they want to watch it because they thought it might be scary or they just no, didn't want to watch it? They just didn't want to watch it. Like, yeah. One person said they watched it so many times, another person said that there wasn't any room in the sofa and they didn't want to sit on the floor. Oh, so, okay, yeah. that's so, good. Yeah. It wasn't so, like you excluded, like, but like me and Sienna were together. But anyway, yeah, they so didn't watch fun. the whole film, they only watched like half of it. And then <laughs> they, they left. Stopped it. Uh, they left. Yeah. Yeah. So it wasn't for long anyway. It's good you have the courage like, to not watch it. Yeah. But I think most is, people are pretty chill here. Yeah. They wouldn't mind if yeah. you don't want to watch a film, it's yeah. fine. Look, I did explain to the back of the girls, like, we don't want to watch it because it's in. Yeah, I can remember. Because yeah, you've watched it loads, haven't you, when you stayed yeah. at people's houses? But I can remember watching a, a little tiny bit of it thinking it was just like an innocent kid's No, film. yeah, because really I think it's like rated U or PG or something. Yeah, I found PG. it really so scary. You think it's just like a kid's film, but like. Yeah, so I'm glad you didn't yeah, watch that instead of that. That would probably give you nightmares. Oh, yeah. yeah. Like, I wouldn't want to watch it now. Yeah. Like, I don't like to watch anything scary. Like. Yeah, but the girl was really nice. She did offer. She was like, if you want, you can watch. Um, uh, a movie on my um, computer. Oh, yeah. Said, yeah. So uh, that was just nice there. that you got to go around there and have yeah, a nice time. Yeah, it was really fun. Yeah. That's cool then. I'm really glad you. Because basically, you girls have made so many friends since we've been here. Like, yeah. it feels like, well, you especially get invited to like a party <laughs> nearly every week. <laughs> and, yeah. yeah. And like, even then, I like met some more people. Like, it was people like I've only met like once, so then like yeah. I got to know them a bit better. That's so, oh, I had a missed call from you. Yeah. I tried to call you back where you worried that dad hadn't. It was because basically he turned was at up. the bottom of like the long drive. Oh. Um, so we didn't know that he'd come. Ah, uh, so, okay, that's yeah. okay then. Well, you're back now. Yeah, we're back. <laughs> I did I tell you, right? So we went out for tacos, which 
we had a lot the people kept coming out and saying are you sure you've got you've ordered too much are you sure you're gonna eat it all <laughs> i mean dad do feel quite heavy <laughs> we feel quite heavy <laughs> to you said release, don't we but the babies weren't too bad we went to that taco place where you guys went where i didn't get to come uh, yeah. you know where you filmed that video mm -hmm. yeah. we went there with the pretty swings yeah, yeah. so we did that with the baby oh that was really really tired. we Me did too. that and then yeah been a tiring day, isn't it? Yeah, it has been. Also, oh yeah, I don't know if you were here today, but Fizz Fab, this is for you to hear as well. Well, all of this is being for you to hear, but I'm speaking to you as well. But we found out today that our pool's been changed. Yeah, I was there. So yeah. You were here today, because when we went to the beach, I thought you went to the beach, so you might, I, I didn't did. think you knew that they'd come round, but they've changed oh, our pool. Oh, I thought she said that they were going to change it. No, they've changed, apparently today, girls, they changed our pool. Oh, so, yeah, so oh, I wasn't really. Here. Yeah, so I was thinking about you girls, because you went to the party yeah, tonight, no. and you were obviously going in a chlorine. Yeah. Is, yeah. It, is it chlorine? Yeah. yeah. So you're going to go and have to properly shower. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But we're going to have... This family is exciting. We're now going to have our pool. It's going to be salt water, so that means we can all go in there all the time. That's cool. Because I've actually been thinking I really want to do a, a video of my friends in like Siena where I did last to leave the pool. Oh, that would yeah, be fun. I was thinking, like, yeah. oh, it's a shame because it's going to be like loads yeah, of Yeah, we're too sensitive. I'm not saying we It irritates my skin. Basically, chlorine pools are really, really strong for us, and our eyes go red and we're just itchy, yeah. and we just yeah. don't feel like it's that good for you. I like to be it. soaking and all of that, mm -hmm. like chlorine. So that's why we asked for our pool to get changed to salt water. So. This fan, we're gonna get to be in the pool more. Stay Warner. tuned for that video. Because we've been having that pool in our garden for nine months, and we very rarely go in it apart from if we have parties or guests over, and then it's like yeah. a one off. Like, right? we don't wanna say no to people when they come round. But on a daily basis, we don't get to use it, and then Darren wants to teach karma to swim, so. Yeah, I'm gonna use it. Like, I'm gonna use it once a week. That'd be amazing. Yeah, well, more than that. I've been making fun last night, but also I've been looking at your birthday presents, man. Talking Ooh. about birthday parties, I've also been getting your presents slowly yeah. ordered and looking around and that, so huh. that's something exciting coming up. I know it's pretty in advance for now, but because we're here in Costa Rica them. and we get them from the US, it's nice to get them, make sure they arrive in time so you don't have any last minute panic of the presents. Yeah. Yeah. So it's gonna be like a slumber party, right? From like midday and then they stay Yeah, the yeah. Night. When you just said slumber, I thought you maybe mean that it just starts when it's like bed. No, 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 no. But I mean like I'm gonna have people sleeping over, which I think yeah. yeah, yeah, that'd be cool. good. You just need to make sure because the baby, hopefully, they'll be sleeping properly by then. Because if not, you're going to have to be like silent in the living room, and I just don't see how that's going to be good. No, that, that's not going to happen. But anyway, Fifth Fan, we'll keep you updated on all of the I've party plans and the things we've got. We've got a world to organise this. I found out that with all the babies and everything else going on in our life with like the house building, that we have to be super organised. Oh, in advance, that's why.